In today's video, we're checking out Magigoo, a purpose-made bed adhesive solution for your 3D printer. Is it any good? Well, let's find out. How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. So what I have here is Magigoo, a purpose-made bed solution for your 3D printer to help your 3D print stick down without popping off the bed during printing. And it comes to us all the way from the island of Malta. So the idea is simple. Sometimes when you 3D print, prints can come free off the print surface and then your print fails. This is especially a problem with materials that warp like ABS. So I've been helping the guys over at Magigoo test their sort of iterations of products. The first version came in sort of a paint mark. You'd squish the tip down, you'd kind of smear it around. Uh, it wasn't the best because it would glue up itself over time. But uh, the latest version has this really nice packaging and it comes in these little little tubes and these are like dot markers you'd normally use them for you know dot dotting <laughs> whatever whoever likes to do that it's the same style of packaging so you might be thinking to yourself okay this is a 15 euro print bed adhesion solution how does it compare against a two dollar glue stick well i set out to find out in this video so what i decided to test was the Prusa i3 Mark II with this stuff. This is $7 Hobby King ABS. Um, it's the same stuff I've been using in my Combat Robot for prototypes before I print in more expensive filament. Uh, it's the cheapest, nastiest ABS I own. It works fine though. And basically printing with ABS, if you're not familiar, it warps. It's difficult to print compared to PLA, especially on an open frame printer. And I specifically chose an open frame printer to test the effectiveness of these solutions. So the first tests I decided to try were these. So these are half scale versions of my Warpinator 5000 I designed maybe two or so years ago. You can find the link on Gumroad here, it's free. Um, and it's designed to warp basically. It's a really hard print to print in ABS without warping. So the first test I did with the print bed completely clean and to make sure the PEI surface was spotless, I used this, this is just IPA, uh, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, it's an Australian brand called Isocol. And I basically went over the print surface again and again and again until it was perfectly clean and I did my first print in ABS. And as I would have expected, it warped pretty badly. In my experience, a perfectly clean PEI sheet, even heated to 100 degrees C, still can warp prints unless they've got a large surface area. And this is specially designed of these prongs. So, you know, you got four of them. And in this case, two of them let go and these two were about to let go as well. So this warped pretty bad. Next I tried the Humble Glue Stick. Basically the Humble Glue Stick worked pretty well and I have been using this for a long time. If you guys don't know how to use glue stick on your prints, you know, just basically put it down layer by layer. You don't wanna to go too thick. And again, that worked all right, but you could still see it kind of lifting. The hypothesis for this, and I'll come back to it later, is that the glue stick, it softens at a higher temperature. So therefore it still has good adhesion, but it's not as high as it was when it was cold, but you still need, you need heat to print ABS anyway. And the final test was with Magigoo, but in the first case, I actually used their sampler pack, which is actually quite cool. It's a little blister pack of the glue and you use the cardboard to, to put it onto the print surface. It's actually quite nice. And that also worked pretty well. Um, admittedly, it did have the brim, as I said, and it is nice and flat. So what about a full size test? Well, that's where things got a little bit inconclusive. So these are two other ABS prints done to try to test the larger version, the full scale version of the Warpinator 5000 with glue versus no glue. So this is the one with no glue I can tell because the bottom is really smooth. And again, it did warp pretty badly on one corner. It's usually just one that fails. But even the one with the glue still lifted away. Not as badly, I will admit, but it did lift away. So as a way to get a final conclusive result because those results kind of don't tell us too much other than something on the bed is better than nothing. I printed these guys. So I designed these little octopus looking warp tests for two reasons. One, to test the warping aspects of the materials all at once. So I put stripes down of Magigoo, nothing perfectly clean with IPA and glue stick on the same print surface with the different areas. And I printed the same thing three times at once to sort of negate any temperature fluctuations or other changes in environment to try to figure out what's going on with this warping. But also I decided to test it twice. So I just took the prints off and then flipped the machine around. So if there was any drafts, 
it would be hitting the other side of the printer just to be sure. And then basically hit print again to see if there was any residue glue left over because Magi Goo did say that their product is long lasting and I wanted to test that aspect out as well. So for the first test, as you can see with the Fleur thermal camera, the bed surface is very uniform in temperature, so no worries or trickery there. And I did get warping on the print with perfectly clean surface. So clean, perfectly clean PEI, even with a good layer height, still will warp with ABS, even at 100 degrees C on the Prusa Mark II. Maybe if you have a higher room temperature, it was about 20 degrees C, not too, not too cold, it did warp. What about the glue stick? Well, the glue stick looked good as well. I did maybe notice one or two of them lifting up slightly, but not too bad. And the Magigoo, again, was almost perfect. I couldn't see any areas that had warped. In terms of removing the prints, the glue stick one popped up probably the, the most difficult, but it still popped off you know, quite easily with a sort of ripping noise. And the Magigoo one popped off with a much sharper sort of popping noise. So. I think the Magigoo uh, formula is designed for higher temperature than the glue stick. So I flipped the machine around, as I said, and I printed exactly the same again without reapplying the materials. Well, we did get a filament jam, which is why I had to pause the printer and it sort of squirted some crap onto the Magigoo sample. But again, as expected, the middle print with nothing did warp yet again, maybe a little bit worse this time. Maybe I touched the bed surface, but it did warp a little bit more and the glue stick and Magigoo ones, again, are almost identical, putting them side by side. In this case, where the glue stick was, there was an arm that warped more than previously, so it must have pulled, because remember the print's printing exactly where it was before, it must have put a lot of glue away before, which, which implies you're better off applying your surface adhesion every time for ABS prints rather than just doing it once, which kind of makes sense because these prints pull it away when you remove them. So what's the conclusion for this video? Should you go and buy Magigoo? Well, like other print surface solutions, it does work and it works quite well, but I don't think it works that much better than a $2 glue stick. It is 15 euros, which is about $20 in Australia, which is quite expensive and you get heaps. I mean, this is gonna last a very, very, very long time. But if you've just got a cheap 3D printer, a glue stick's gonna do you for most of the time, especially if you're only printing PLA, because I've used this a lot in PLA with no issues. With ABS, you may get away, you may wanna go with a slightly better solution like the Magigoo. But I really do think if you have a friend or family member with a 3D printer, it's an awesome gift, because I know it's one of those things that, I don't want another t-shirt or book, but I wouldn't mind getting that as a present. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hit the link up in the, in the video description if you wanna go buy yourself some Magigoo. And a big thanks to the Magigoo guys for being so patient with me testing this stuff out. I want to be as thorough as possible and I've been using it in their previous generations on various prints. I just can't see a massive difference between a glue stick and that and their solution. If you enjoyed this video here on Makers Muse, guys, and want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, and reviews, hit, uh, can't say smash, people don't like that, hit that subscribe button, helps us out a huge amount. Look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later, guys. Bye.